Hi all, Zone FPV here. This is just a quick update video about my Mini Talon quad plane. I've had a few requests on my channel to share my parameter file. Uh, if you don't know, that's the uh, settings file which is used by the Pixel Flight Controller. I'm happy to share that file, which you can find on the link below. But in this video, I'm going to go over the mechanical setup of the plane so that you can make a reasonable judgment about whether you want to use that parameter file if you're doing some testing and developing your own mini talent quad plane. One of the benefits of a quad plane is being able to get into a tricky landing spot like this one. You can see that little bit of grass, which is the landing site. My mini talent quad plane was always intended to be a camera ship. And uh, for that reason, it's probably a little bit more complicated than it would otherwise be, as several channels are dedicated to a camera switcher and the operation of a three-axis uh, gimbal. But as you can see in this video, there's a great advantage to having a quad plane, as you can land uh, quite gently and precisely without uh, having excessive risk uh, that the gimbal uh, will be damaged on the landing. My current Mini Talon quad plane is really the third major design iteration. The first design had wing mounted booms. These proved to be much too flexible during transitions, and as a result, I moved them to cross the fuselage. That setup turned out to be a great flyer, but the ESC on the main motor uh, failed one day, and unfortunately, it crashed. And that brings me to the current version, which is based on the Mozzie Mini Talon quad plane. Turning now to the layout of the components, on the left of the screen, you can see the 4S 5600 milliamp hour battery pack. Directly above that is the GPS module. Moving to the right of the frame, uh, you can see a Bluetooth module. And to the right of that, you can see the L9R radio receiver, the PixHawk, and a current sensor, which is only connected to the main motor. You can also see the rear boom and the externally mounted ESC. Nearly all of the ports on the PixHawk are used because of the quad motors and also because of the three axis gimbal and camera switcher. The Mozzie quad plane parts are great. The one additional part I made was a spacer that goes between the boom mount and the fuselage. That's on my Thingiverse page. I also added a scoop to the back of the fuselage to provide a little bit more air onto the motor. The Mozzie design is based around these uh, flat carbon bars uh, that are used for the booms. They're very stiff and uh, work very well. The video transmitter module on this aircraft is mounted just behind uh, the camera and it's elevated away from the fuselage to make sure it gets plenty of cooling. The putto tube is mounted towards the port wingtip where it uh, doesn't get any interference uh, from the forward quad motors. The main ESC is rated to 60 amps and is sunken into the rear fuselage. The front booms are the standard Mozzie design. However, uh, the canopy cover is a modified Mark UV design, which I just uh, modified in Tinkercad so that the boom could uh, run underneath it with all the mounting hardware and still accommodate the gimbal. Taking a look at the camera equipment and gimbal now, uh, there are two cameras mounted uh, to this plane and a video switcher that can change between the two of them. Uh, the first and most obvious there is the GoPro, which is mounted to the GU and Tiny2 gimbal. And mounted underneath the canopy, uh, there is a run cam eagle. The gimbal can be controlled uh, in all three axes. Uh, your is on the left pot as I'm displaying at the moment. Uh, tilt is controlled on the right pot on the uh, Tyrannus, and tilt is controlled with the right slider. This makes sense for me uh, as I'm a mode two flyer. Finally, there's a mode switch, uh, which changes between the Geo and Tiny 2's three modes. And uh, FPV mode is one of the most useful, which uh, brings the camera back to front and center. Finally, turning to the modes that are programmed into the Pixhawk and the Tyrannus, I have Cruise uh, Fly-by-Wire A mode, Q Stabilize, Q Voider, uh, Full Auto mode, and then Return to Launch mode. I find this mix of modes is a good combination that allows me to both fly quite stably, but also throw it into Fly-by-Wire mode if I want to uh, dart around between any trees and have some fun. Well, that's about it for this video. I hope you found it useful and uh, happy flying.